Hello, my name is Amanda Thomas with Ultimo.com, and I am here with... Thomas Sallings. How long have you been open? We opened at the end of October, and so, yeah, about five months. What's your weekly schedule? We're open Tuesday through Friday, uh, 11 to 7, and then now we're open Saturdays, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Are you going to be adding any new items to your menu? Well, our breakfast menu is entirely different than our... Uh, weekday menu so that's all new stuff we have steak we have uh, omelet and uh, pork belly and some good salads and then on the regular menu um, let's see anything new I would suggest getting the romesco sauce with pretty much anything and dip it really tasty really really good what's your top item on your menu it's definitely pizza but um, the beef sandwich, the Italian beef, is probably next. It's really taken off. Do you have a day that's busier than the rest? I mean, Friday is our busiest day. Um, I kind of think Saturday might turn out to be the busiest day, though. Yeah, we want everything to go out fully fleshed out, you know. We don't want any hollow tasting dishes. We want everything to be fully realized, so. I would say the next thing that would happen would be uh, like a little bit later closing time for the summer. Um, I would like to have breakfast service all week. I would like to have a catering service put together um, and more live music. So yeah, we do live music once every month. And uh, right now it's on the third Saturday, but we're going to switch it to the fourth or the second Saturday of every month. And we're booked up through May right now. What made you decide to open this restaurant here at this time? Seemed like really trying times for sure, but I found that, you know, everything was shaken up so I could kind of shake my life up as well. Um, so I grew up here. Um, you know, first grade to graduation. And then I went to Columbia, Missouri for about 14 years and uh, did a lot of work in kitchens, played a lot of music, did a lot of like community oriented projects uh, like community gardens and, uh, you know, DIY show spaces, stuff like that. Um, but I knew that I was going to end up here. I just knew that like well, to be frank with you, a low wage earner, it's tough to buy a house. So, you know, uh, I have family here and, uh, you know, I stand in here at a place to live. So that was a big part of it. But um, I also just think this is where I should have an impact. If there's any place in the world that I need to impact, it'd probably be where I'm from because I understand people around here and I understand what the needs are and what people deserve. And so... Um, I just kind of see a wealth of opportunity where there is none, you know, or like where no one's doing it. It seems like, oh, well, you can't do that there. It's like, well, actually, <laughs> I can. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, now you brought up food and live music. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you've had experience in both of them. Mm -hmm. Do you put them together? Do you have singing waiters and waitresses? No, but I... Uh, just check it. I, uh, there's a cool, a cool... Uh, it's not a story, it's real. There was a butcher in Italy. He was called the Singing Butcher. And you would go in and buy his meats and his cured products, and he'd just be singing like opera and what, what not, Dante's Inferno or something like that. Yeah. So I was I'm definitely inspired by that. and uh, But I don't, yeah, that's kind of uh, a little too much to think about. <laughs> What would you like? <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Uh, we just appreciate the community and uh, really excited to see everybody in here. And um, yep, we're ready. We're ready for you. Thank you.